So welcome folks, we're at Duxforth and as you can see we're just about to step into a Spitfire. This is a quick first video just to show you the startup. It is a study level aircraft. The startup you see is pretty much what you do in the real thing. So we'll just jump in. I'll just walk you through step by step as I work through the checklist. So firstly we check that the parking brake is um, set and the parking brake is just going to glow, glow there for us so we can see it. Well it's not set because there's no these these two indicators down here at the bottom of the gauge are indicating there's no brake pressure. So we push that way we've set the parking brake. Battery needs to be set to on. In this particular model the battery is triggered when the th throttle control is brought forward. Hear a little bit of a click there we go and we can see signs of electrics there <laughs> it's not a very modern layout on a spitfire but you can see it does have an illuminated light to show on the left there that the undercarriage is down and you can see this here i can talk you through some of this um, later and uh, what's going on so third thing is a prop control a prop control needs to be on full so that's revolutions per minute so we pop that onto full there then uh, fuel tanks need to be on and fuel tanks, I'll show you where those are. So you can just see underneath there, you've got to move the parking brake out of the way. So we'll click that to get that out of the way. Pull this up and we can see that we've just turned our fuel on. I'm going to click again underneath here. There we go, it's uh, nifty. Uh, so we can see what's doing as we, get, as we go on. We need to set uh, mixture to idle or cut off. Just check that on the left there. Mixture is just here on the left so I'll just move that just make sure it's down and cut off for the moment throttle needs to be open about half an inch so our throttles here and that looks all right to me and then this is the one that usually that catches people and there's a special view I've got um, for this um, it's uh, setting the fuel pressure to make sure there's pressure in the fuel line if I uh, just move to my custom views here you've got a view to the left here that will just allow you to show a little bit more of the throttle and the detail down there. This is the pitch trim, which is adjusted. Actually needs to be adjusted before takeoff. I'm gonna do it now by just a little smidgen of a turn. And also here, we've got the bias for the rudder trim. It does need a little bit of bias as it starts off the spit. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna make sure that the door's in uh, place. We'll close the door. We will close the um, cockpit later, but not right now. So having done that, let's just move back on um, to the check. So the wobble pump. So yes, and um, one of the important things that you can't see, I'll just switch that back. So you can't see it, ob obviously, certainly not from that angle, obviously. That's the standard angle of um, the aircraft. Uh, that's just looking down to the throttle. Um, but if um, if I move here, you'll see uh, that with the electrics comes this fuel pressure warning light. And what we need to do is wobble the pump hence it's called a wobble pump and uh, till that pressure light goes out so maybe I'll just prime the system there wobble away there we go and the light would eventually go out there we go when there's enough pressure in the system uh, set the primer and this needs unlocking so we just twist like that give it a pull just a couple of pulls uh, just to prime the engine and we can lock it again if we want and then when it comes to starting the magnetos need to be on so we turn those on they're up there just in case you didn't see where they are there they go and magnetos just there and then finally it comes to the starter and the booster and we just need to engage that and that's down here down the bottom here so pull, pull this one up pull that one up and then this is where uh, you get to see the quality of the sim not just in obviously the instrumentation is amazing around here and i can show you around more but but also in the sound so we actually listen to what a merlin engine like is like when it starts up so here we go ready here we go that did tell you it would be like something else we've got a close look at the throttle the mixture the prop uh, rpm um, the uh, uh, pitch as we've talked about before there's the carb air filter back there pitot heats also there which is required as well um, as you climb higher um, we've obviously got the open door uh, that we've sorted uh, down there a little bit more detail down there so you can see here there's some lovely detail lovely touches uh, particularly when we're looking at the kind of landing gear and i love the bear wires there um, there's a view to the port side so this is the um, curved wing variant which is the one that's most familiar to people there is a clip wing variant that flies um, slightly faster but also um, is much is, has a, has a little bit more maneuverability uh, but this is the curved wing variant so looking out to the right hand side here and uh, then of course we're able to just uh, look around uh, there's some views to the rear uh, that's the taxi indicator 
to the left and right for guides on um, where the aircraft is. You can't sort of tell straight away. It's a tail dragger, which means it's um, obviously it sits um, with its tail to the rear on the floor. Uh, there you go. You can quite clearly sort of see that there. We can rotate it around so it sits with its tail um, to the floor here, and then as it speeds up, the tail begins to lift, and it's very twitchy as a start. We've got absolutely brilliant. Um, in the air. There you go. So the um, guidelines you can see here are actually, if I just move back to the guides, um, to, they're suggesting this is how I'd find my way onto the taxiway behind me. We'll, we'll keep these open, it's just a, it's just a help for us as well. So uh, we'll just see um, where we go and I'll, I'll need to focus a little bit just now and then uh, join you uh, in the air shortly. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, instruments ahead of us just to let you let you see what we've got. Um, obviously, this actually flaps. Uh, you know, they're up at the moment. There's no need to have the flaps down in this in the Spitfire when we're taking off um, here. So we've got flaps here. We've got airspeed here. It takes a while to get your head around that. So you've got two rings, of course. Um, you've got oxygen here. We're not using oxygen. We've got a um, pitch indicator here brake indicator here obviously I talked you through magnetos the most basic compass and also curiously the indicator for the level um, and the fault the, the kind of horizon indicator which goes the opposite way than you would usually expect uh, climb rate is to the right here and uh, this is the equivalent of uh, instrument telling you how much you're slipping in the air when you use the rudder uh, usually there's a, a, a kind of a, a ball in liquid um, on sort of a Snesta, but this is working a different way and it works in the opposite direction as well. Underneath here we've got an indicator of the fuel, that's something that the sim needs to work at because it's telling me that the, uh, there's no fuel in the moment, but rest assured there is, otherwise we wouldn't be running. That has to do with the fact that the Spit has three fuel tanks, I think it's only modelled at the moment, um, to measure the fuel in one, which happens to be empty, but the other two are full. So we can have a look here at the fuel and you can see um, what we're looking at. So it's got centre one and centre two, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, but um, yeah, that's not quite working. Uh, radiator temperature and there's a boost which is you're able to apply the boost um, at certain periods in flight if you need to. Uh, you can apply that. 
so yeah and uh, I'm going to put the navigation lights on as well because uh, um, things are getting a little bit darker uh, but yeah we'll we'll get off in this um, in this now shall we and see what we can see what we can achieve now bearing in mind it's just getting very twitchy on the ground um, and I've put the corrections in already but it does get very twitchy um, as, uh, before we take off so here we go Look, 
the loop looks like. And uh, we'll also come lower. Again, I go into the external mode just for our benefit. Let's speed. Let's go to the runway, so we're now 500.
Stacey.